Hey, good morning. God bless you this morning. God keep this morning. Thank you for tuning on me once again, as always. Praise God. I'm just going to share what you talking about out of Isaiah, reading about the Savior of Israel. The Savior, the Savior of Israel. Uh, Isaiah chapter 43, it says, But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you, says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. It says, Do not be afraid. It says, uh, I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep water, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through, when you walk through the fire of, of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flame will not consume consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I gave uh, Seba in your place. Other were given in exchange for you. I trade their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honor and I love you. Do not be afraid for I am with you. I will gather you and your children from east and west. I will say to the north and south, bring my son and daughter back to Israel from the distant corner of the earth. And that's also in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 through 18. It says, bring all who claim me as their God. For I have made them for my glory. I'll, it says, it was I who created them. Bring out the people who have eyes but are blind, who have ears but are deaf. Gather the nation together. Assembly, <clears throat> to assemble the people of the world which of their idol hath ever foretold such things, which, which, can, which can predict what will happen tomorrow. Where are the witnesses of such prediction who was, I mean, who, who can verify that they spoke the truth? But you, my witnesses, O Israel, says the Lord, you are my servant. You have been chosen to me. <clears throat> he said, you have been chosen to know me, believe in me, and understand that I am, he said, that I alone am God. There is no other God. There has never has been. And there never will be. I, it says, I, yes, I am the Lord. And there is no other Savior. First, I predicted your rescue. Then I saved you and proclaimed it to be the world. No foreign God has ever done this. You are witnesses that I am the only God, says the Lord. From eternity to eternity, I am God. No one can snatch anyone out of my hand. No one can undo what I done. And the next verse talks about the Lord promise of victory. This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I will sin and arm me against Babylon, forcing the Babylonians to flee in those ships they are so proud of. I am the Lord, your Holy One. I am the Lord. Uh, <clears throat> it says, Israel created a king, I am the Lord, who opened a way through the water, making a dry path through the sea. I call forth the mighty armies of uh, Egypt. I, it says, with all its character and horses, I drew them beneath the waves and they drowned. Their, wide, it says, their lives sniffed it out like a snorting candle wick. It says, but, it says, but forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I am going to do. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun to you not see it. I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. The wild animals in the field will thank me. The jackals and owls too. For giving them water in the desert. Yes, I will make rivers in the dry wasteland. So my chosen people can be refreshed. I have made Israel for myself. And they will someday honor me before the whole world. But dear family of Jacob, you refuse to ask for my help. You have grown tired of me, O Israel. You have not brought me sheep 
or goats for a burnt offering, you have not honored me with sacrifice. Do I have not burned, burned it and worry you with requests for grain, for grain offering and frankincense? You have not burnt, you have not bought me frank, frankincense, uh, climbers of or please me with the fat from sacrifice. Instead, you have burned it. You burned me out. It says you burned me with your sins and worries. You know, worries me your faults. I, yes, alone will blot out your sin for my own sake. I mean, for my own sake. <laughs> for my own sake. It says I will never think of them again. And that's also in the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse seven it says let us review the situation together you can it says you it says and you can prepare uh you can present your case to prove you're innocent from the very beginning your first disaster shine i mean your first disaster sinned your first disaster sinned it me all your leaders broke my law that is why i have disgrace your priests I have degreed complete destruction for Jacob and shame for Israel. We praise God. That's what the book said. That's what God said. Hallelujah. The savers of Israel. Isaiah chapter 43. I'm just going to um, read here uh, after G my Jesus said book real quick. And uh, it talks about hearing and obeying. Hearing and obeying God. Hearing and obeying. It says, not all people who sound religious are really godly. They may refer to me, it said, they, they, they may refer to me as Lord, but they still won't enter the kingdom of heaven. The decisive issue is whether they obey my Father in heaven on judgment day. Many will tell me, Lord, Lord, we prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I reply, I never knew you. Go away. The thing you did, the, the thing you did were unauthorized, and that's all from the book of Matthew, chapter seven, verse twenty-one to twenty-three. It is, uh, it says, it's important to listen to what God's word says, but it's much more important to obey. You know, to obey it and to do what it says. Do you put your faith into action? It says anyone you listen. It says anyone who listens to my teaching and obeys me is wise, like a person who builds a house on a solid rock. Through the rain comes in the torrent. I mean the torrent, and the flood water rises, and the wind beats against that house. It won't collapse because it's built on a rock. But anyone who hears my teaching and ignores it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on a sand. When the rain and flood comes and wind beats against the house, it will fall with the mighty crash. And that's also in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. It says, uh, to build on solid rock means to be hearing, responding, dis 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 uh, discipline. I mean, responding, yeah, dis discipline. Dis dis responding disciples. Sorry, he's finding the disciple. It says, not a phony, superficial one, oh, uh, obedience, become the solid foundation to weather the storm of life. But what do you think about this? A man with two sons, two, it says, a man with two sons told the older boy, son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son answered, no, I won't go. But later he changed his mind. He went away. He, he went anywhere, I mean. He went anywhere. Then the father told the other son, you go, and said, and he said, yes, sir, I will. But he didn't go. Which of the two was obeying his father? And that's also in the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 28 to 31. The son who said he would obey and then didn't represent the peoples of Israel in Jesus' day, then said they, won't, they wanted to do God's will, but they consensually disobey him. They were phony. And every time I read stuff like that, it's what's going on right there in the world. 
you said you want to do God's will. You say you love God, but you phony. You're not keeping it real with yourself or, or with God. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If God say love, you're supposed to just love and do and love. Not love who you want to love. You know, not fall in love and go to bed with somebody. You don't mean go to bed with somebody when you say love. That don't mean go to bed with everybody you see. That's not love. He didn't say fall in love. He didn't say fall in their bed with them. He didn't say do none of them things. Because love was not sleeping with everybody. Love was being married to that one person. Praise God. Love is loving and treating everyone right. Respecting one another. Doing good. Doing what's right. Praying for somebody. Not turning your back on them. Praise God. But it said they were phony. Just going through the motion. It is dangerous to pretend to obey God. When your heart is far from him. Because God knows. Our true intention. Our action must match our words. So if you love the word. You love the word. You love God. It must match it. It must match everything you said. You know what I mean? It's like me. I can't be sit up here and read the word of God to you all. And I'm out here uh, dropping it like a hot somewhere, sleeping with somebody that's married or sleeping with somebody that's not even mine anyway. Sleeping with somebody that I'm not even married with. You know, stealing and doing all this kind of crazy stuff. Talking about somebody in hatred. You know, that's not no love. That's not loving God. You know, not helping somebody that's in need. You know, somebody may need some help. You know, and I'm cussing somebody out and all this kind of crazy stuff. You know, that's not love. I'll be lying to you all, and I'll be lying to God. You know, me sitting here telling you that, you know, I love God and I'm doing other stuff. That's not no love of God. It's like, it's just like, I, like I read, like a lot of people out here doing ministers, whatever, teachers or preachers. You know, people, you know, as in church, supposed to call themselves Christians and all this stuff. You know, I tell you right here. You know, the son who said he did, the son who said he would obey and then didn't repent. The people of Israel in Jesus' days, Jesus' day said Israel could be all over the place right now in this world, right now. Not just in Israel, be right where you are. They said they wanted to do God's will, but they consisted, you know, to, uh, to disobey him. You know, they were phony. It's being phony. So I said, why waste your time to go to church? You ain't going to keep it real and do the will of God for your life. You're going to church to look around and look at some folks that are not giving God uh, the praise and the glory for yourself. Just going out to show off, you know, pretending to be somebody that you're not. You're phony. Going out to use somebody to see what you can get, you know. Whether it's people going to build or could be no preacher, could be no minister. Going, they going to uh, collect offering and not doing the right thing with it. You know, you're being phony. And then they come around and won't help. Come to you for uh, help, whatever situation is going on in their life. And they can't get it from the church. They can't get it from the preachers, the ministers, whatever, you know. And they've been probably been a long time, whatever, sold their seed, being faithful, doing it all, doing the whole nine yards. And they come for help. You can't help them, you know, and all this kind of crazy stuff that's going on, you know. You're not keeping it real. You know, you think everybody's out to get you when you probably out to get them. You know, you're being phony. But praise God. God bless you. I'm going I'm to stop here. I'm going to pray for each and every last one of you. You know, it's probably what you're going through. I don't even know. I already don't even know what you're going through. All I know is God going to make it all right. God already see you. He going to bring you out one way or another. And that's what I believe. And I hope you believe it too. Glory be to God. No matter what nobody say. Glory be to God. Keep it real with yourself. You know, because God already knows your heart. You know, just be real. Keep it real. I'm, cause God, well, I would say God is not no, God is not nothing to play with. You know, he ain't nothing nice. Don't play with God. You know, he ain't nothing nice. He said, do not tempt the Lord your God. My God. God is my God. Hallelujah. He is my Lord, my everything, my Savior. Praise God. And Heavenly Father, pray for those who are watching. God bless you today. And God keep you. I pray the Lord to be with you and keep you. And, you know, I pray he put some love on you and show some love on you. And then be good to one another and respect one another and do what's right. In Jesus' name, I pray, and I just pray that somebody may be lost, somebody may be, somebody may be going through something, I don't know, somebody may be just left a broken family, a broken heart, or whatever, a mind, upsetness, whatever's going on in your life, I don't know, I pray, Lord, just put it together, get you back on course, get it back on track, get it back lined up the way it's supposed to be, in Jesus' name, because God wants you to do good, God want to uh, bless you, God want to keep you, God want to give you long, healthy, and strong life. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. Yes, he do. And I rebuke every sickness right now. God wants you to heal and God wants you well. I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for healing the one that's watching. Thank you, Jesus, for the one that's sick right now. Thank you, Jesus, for uh, 
the blessing of one, the keeping of one, and um, you know, and um, getting it back, getting the one back in order, and getting back to getting back to one if that's probably lost. Lord, I just pray that they, I just pray the name of Jesus, you can just keep them, keep them under your presence, keep them under your wings in Jesus' name. Glory be to God, and God bless you all today as well as every day in Jesus' name. I pray, and I pray no weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. And you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you in Jesus' name. Trust in the Lord. Do good. Do what's right. Do your do. Don't just be here as a listener. Do your do. Do the will of God for your life. In Jesus' name, he's going to make it all right. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you. And I pray, Lord, protect you and guide you, lead you home. Where you may be in traffic. You may be on a plane. I don't know, train or driving a car or exercising or just at home chilling. I don't know what you're doing. I pray, Lord, to keep you and bless you and guard his angels around you and protect you in Jesus' name. You may be in track, but I don't know. I pray, Lord, just be with you and keep you and lead you and guide you in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. And God bless you as well as every day. God bless you and your family in Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. God bless you and God keep you. And uh, thank you for tuning on to me once again, as always. You know, God is good. You know, even though things might not look so good and everything. And, you know, I just know God is good. You know, devil try to get you all down at times. And, you know, and try to get you all uh, off course, off track. You know, depressed or whatever. Uh, stuff like that. And it's like, you know, you got to make up your mind. If you're going to let that devil win and take over your good spirit. Or you're going to take over it. Praise God. You know, you're going to let that good spirit take over that crazy, that, that crazy nonsense flesh. Don't let the, don't let the flesh beat your spirit. You know, I know you got you to have a good, good, good spirit in you and try to keep the good spirit in you. And you just have to rebuke that devil in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Tell that devil get back. Get up under your feet and behind you. In Jesus' name, you must go on. You must go forward. You must, it won't stop. Don't quit. In Jesus' name, whatever it is, whatever situation it is, you know, just do good. Praise God. Don't give up on God because he's not going to give up on you. In Jesus' name, glory to God. God bless you and God keep you. Remember, God love you. And so do I. Until next time, stay blessed. Stay up. You know, and um, do your do. Don't worry about the don't. In Jesus' name. See you later next time. If God say the same.